Coming to you from deep inside the vaults of the Holmes Archive of Electronic Music, here is Tom Holmes, your curator and guide to vintage electronic music and audio experimentation. This episode, Cross Currents in Early Electronic Music of Japan. Welcome to the Archive of Electronic Music. This is Tom Holmes. Continuing our geographic excursions on cross-currents in early electronic music, this episode focuses on classic tape music of Japan from two primary sources and polar opposite practices. The NHK Broadcasting Studio for Electronic Music and the independent collective of artists known as Group Ongaku, who were mainly students at Tokyo National University of Fine Arts and Music, whereas the NHK studio, part of the Nippon National Broadcasting System, began experimenting with electronic music on tape in 1955. Group Ongaku took a live approach to electronic music in performance forming in 1958 and giving themselves the name Group Ongaku in 1960. One aspect of early tape music that fascinates me is that the work of one country could be so distinct from that of other countries, despite the fact that they were all basically experimenting with the same technology. What was happening in tape music was culturally distinct in France, Germany, and the United States as we have seen in earlier Cross Currents episodes. And while Japan was only slightly later to take up tape music, and while they drew inspiration from Germany, both in studio design and musical style, it did not take long for their electronic tape music to become culturally distinct and incorporate elements of Japanese music. You will hear this transition in style in the examples in this episode, from imitating the processes of the Germans and their serial music practices to the incorporation of Japanese instruments, and more importantly, an Asian cadence or sense of expectation in the music that is distinct from their Western counterparts. Even the improvisation of group Angaku illustrates this. And while they were inspired by Cage and Tudor in the United States, Cage and Tudor themselves had originally been inspired by Japanese Zen cadences. So the music of Group Angaku, in a real sense, represents a return to the original spirit that was appropriated by the West. As I have said, the establishment of the NHK Electronic Music Studio in Japan was inspired by practices from the Western Hemisphere, specifically Germany. The German approach to tape music, then still fledgling, was to use only pure electronic sounds as the material for composing tape music. The concept quickly took hold in Japan, forming an active interchange of ideas between the two countries as early as 1954. It was about this time that staff members of the Japanese Broadcasting Corporation, or NHK, took an interest in the potential of tape composition for the creation of radiophonic effects and music. Members of the NHK staff actually translated a handbook from the WDR Cologne studio into Japanese, and this document reportedly became their blueprint for the creation of their own electronic music studio. Composer Makato Mori visited Cologne in 1955 to view the German studio firsthand. Upon his return, he worked with fellow experimenter Toshiro Maizumi to guide NHK into the creation of a studio of its own. The studio was founded by a coalition of NHK radio producers, engineers, 
and composers, and the first composers associated with the studio included Toshiro Mayuzumi, Minao Shibata, Joji Yuasa, Makado Mori, and Toshi Ishinagi. Toru Takamitsu, another well-known Japanese composer, also became a regular user of the studio by the late 1950s. Works by all of these composers, with the exception of Shibata, are included on the NHK recording featured in this episode. The original NHK studio was equipped much like the German studio in Cologne and featured a wealth of tone generating, audio processing, and recording equipment. There were six stepped sine wave oscillators and three continuously variable sine wave oscillators, a variety of tape recorders, two ring modulators, a band pass filter with 32 bands, various sound mixers and some instruments, including an owned Martineau and the German-made keyboard instruments known as the monochord for generating sawtooth signals and the mellow chord both having been fixtures in the Cologne studio as well. The first pieces completed at the NHK studio acknowledged the influence of the German studios and had an inherently mathematical structure. Mayuzumi completed three early works at the studio, all based on the processes used by Karl Heinz Strachhausen in composing studies number one and two. These were strictly serial pieces in which all parameters of the sound, including envelopes, were determined by using numerical plans. While none of these three pieces are included on the recording from the NHK featured in this podcast, Mayuzumi's fourth tape piece, composed with Makado Mori, is found here and follows a similar composition method. By the mid-1950s, the NHK studio was one of the world's leading electronic music facilities, but it wasn't the only advocate of experimental music in Japan. The work of composer Takahisa Kosugi and group Angaku represented a transition from the tape music studio of the 1950s to live, improvised, and experimental composition that took shape in the 1960s. Kosugi and his colleagues represented a decided break from the German-influenced work of the NHK studio toward a more indeterminate trend in music as influenced by John Cage. In 1961, Kosugi co-founded Group Angoku, an avant-garde performing ensemble with several other Japanese experimenters. They included Yasunao Tone on saxophone and tape, Chieko Shiomi on piano, Mikio Tojima on cello, Genichi Suge on guitar, Shuko Mizuno on cello, drums and tape, and Kosugi on violin, saxophone, and tape. The group gave its first public performance in Japan in 1961, and during the course of their short two-year tenure, sparked interest in a type of electronic and experimental music in Japan that was disconnected from Western music, inspiring a new generation of Japanese composers. In this episode, we will hear six works from the NHK studio from the years 1956 to 67, and three works by group Ongaku dating from 1960 and 61. Details for the tracks are found in the podcast playlist. Note that I've explored vintage Japanese tape music in two previous episodes, 16 and 17, but the works heard in today's episode are entirely different. Let's get started with Cross Currents in Early Electronic Music of Japan on the Archive of Electronic Music. This is Tom Holmes. Thank you. 
Huh? <laughs> 
You are listening to Cross Currents in Early Electronic Music of Japan on the Archive of Electronic Music. This is Tom Holmes.
one.
I hope you enjoyed Cross Currents and Early Electronic Music of Japan, an historic look at electronic music composed for magnetic tape on the Archive of Electronic Music. This is Tom Holmes. Details about all of the music can be found in the playlist on the podcast website. Check out my blog for the Bob Moog Foundation. There is a link on the podcast website. A transcript of notes of the program can be found on my blog, Noise and Notations, located at tomholmes.com. If you would like to learn more about the history of electronic music, please read my book, Electronic and Experimental Music, published by Routledge in print or as an ebook. You may also want to read my book about sound art, also available from Routledge. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to explore our library of past episodes. They span many genres, technologies, and artists associated with electronic music, from symphonic rock to music for meditation all inspired by vintage recordings from my archives. So long for now from the Archive of Electronic Music. All of the music heard on this podcast is brought to you from the Holmes Archive of Electronic Music curated collection of vintage recordings. For a complete playlist, go to the homesarchive.podbean.com. All crackles, surface noise, and other imperfections heard in this podcast are purely intentional. All intro, outro, and other incidental music is by Tom Holmes, unless otherwise noted in the playlist. For notes about this episode, please see the blog Noise and Notations at tomholmes.com. So long from the Holmes Archive of Electronic Music.